Um, we're talking to Dr. David Carson, Director of Pediatric Neurosurgery at John Hopkins University. You know, Dr. Carson, what are the areas of health care that the country should agree on that should not be changed? And what is it about the health care law, which we celebrate its one year anniversary now, that remains so unpopular, so unaffordable, uh, and yet the country remains so polarized about this yeah. issue? Well, I think there were many things that pretty much everybody could agree on, such as, you know, lifetime limits on disease coverage, you know, that makes no sense, uh, pre-existing conditions, uh, you know, children who are unemployed, you know, being able to stay on their parents' insurance for a while. All of that actually is, is reasonable. I don't think many people would have a problem with that. I think the big issue was, you know, a group of Americans deciding that because they had an numerical advantage that they could just do whatever they wanted to do without listening to the opinions of the others. See, that is not the American way. And any time you try to do something like that, be you Republican or be a Democrat, you're going to stir up a lot of animosity. And that's what's been done. I think we probably set back relationships by quite a few years by trying to do that. You know, I tried to, to talk to someone high up in the administration about that. And I said, wouldn't it make a whole lot more sense just to gain some consensus and, and do the things that everybody agrees on and let that be the, the platform and then build from there, uh, as opposed to creating tremendous animosity by just ramming it down people's throats. And this person said, yes, that would make much more sense, but this is Washington and this is politics. So, you know, when you have that kind of mindset, obviously <laughs> you're going to create a lot of disgruntled people, and that's what we have now. What we really need is to be able to sit down rationally with people who actually know about health care and deal with the issues of cost, for instance, and also with some fundamental issues of, of insurance. You know, we have a system where insurance companies make a profit by denying people care. Okay, well that's fundamentally flawed to start with. And, you know, you can put all the bells and whistles on that you want, but it's just not going to work because it's a conflict of interest. So, you know, we need to, to deal with that. We need to deal with the fact that, you know, different ways of billing and collections uh, and cost in all the different states and different cities, which justifies the mounds and mounds of paperwork and um, armies of people to push it around, all has to be paid out of each health care dollar. You know, we need to gain some consistency so that we can use computers and electronic systems to do consistent billing and collections across the nation, save us an enormous amount of money. Uh, we need to really put some fire behind, you know, electronic medical records. Um, <clears throat> these are the kinds of things that are going to make a big difference. We need to incentivize people who have no insurance to go to clinics as opposed to emergency rooms where, you know, it costs, you know, one-fifth the amount and where we can begin to deal with their underlying problem, not just patch them up, send them back out there so they're back in a couple of weeks. You know, these are the kinds of things that are going to save us large amounts of money. And, uh, you know, until we really sit down and start talking about the real fundamentals of how you change the system, we're just going to be back and forth bickering like a little bit. Dr. Carson, thank you. Thank you. Uh, superstar music right here. Yeah.